cord blood is the blood that is left in the placenta and the cord after a baby is born. We have at the moment over 60,000 cord blood units collected since um, many years now. We develop the concept of a public cord blood bank. In a private bank, the bank is a for-profit organization and you have to pay the bank to do this for you. In a public bank, it's a public health concern. There is no financial contribution by the donor. The temperature of the cartons in which the blood is brought to the laboratories must be maintained. The time that it takes to go from the delivery moment and the collection to the time in which the blood is stored is also a very critical factor. Blood has to be, of course, uh, sterile. There should be no bacteria or contaminants in the blood. All the steps of processing are done in clean labs, spaces in which the air is cleaned by filtration, is controlled, the number of particles is controlled, and the people who work in them have to observe precautions. If the potency is not correct, so the unit has suffered, has not been frozen correctly, or, or something has gone wrong somewhere in the procedures, that unit may not work as well once it is given to the patient, even if it is not contaminated. It may fail to work, and in that case, you will have a patient who will either need a new transplant or will die. All the care that is spent in making it as safe as possible is necessary because the difference is life or death.